guys, Honey Bee Quinn here. Uh, we are continuing with the Midnight Wish, and we are meeting for the first time the newcomer. I wonder who she's going to be. The newcomer is sitting on the lecture decks in the most natural way. All eyes. Uh, linger on her uh, fine, even features, her bewitching smile, her jet black hair, casting down her shoulders, let alone her eyes. Eyes at one dark, sparkling, intimidating, and impossible night blue gleam dancing in her gaze. The regular professor loud voice raises sharply but only um, particularly breaks the spell that is memorizing the whole class. Listen, this is Miss... Please call me Evelyn. The playful tone emphasizes the bubbly and perfectly controlled side of her voice. Evelyn is my new assistant and she will be teaching most of the, my class the next semester. I'm continuing on you to stay serious and focused. I don't think that's gonna happen. A few whispers raised from the back rows. That's the dream, the dream job. You hire some assistant and don't do shit. How do you become a professor? Please, please, quiet. In the back, in the back. Good. I count on you to welcome Evelyn and show her full extent of your cap capabilities. For those who have any, the professor punctuates his last remark with a glance in the direction of Dan, who grins with all his teeth. I wish you all good day. Good luck to you, Evelyn. The sound of the door slamming shuts tells me that he, that the professor has left the room. It's only Evelyn and us now. Hello, everyone. Good morning, madame. Hey. A collective murmur arises from the rows of the room and a greeting to the new arrival. Like I said, you can call me Evelyn, but please don't call me Madame. I'm barely older than you. A light laughter escapes her lips and echoes off the large walls of the auditorium. I graduated last year, so I was a student like you until very recently. I hope we can bond and learn better together. I'm still very new to this job, so I'm counting on you, on your goodwill. A muffled echo male student voices erupt from the four corners of the auditorium. Of course you can count on us, Professor Evelyn. If you need help, please let us know. Her uh, assumed eyes roam the auditorium and uh, surprisingly prompt each row. The room looks a little empty to me, but I think all important people are here. What? Is this a 
some way of saying she's going to take atten uh, attendance for a moment lecture would this be unheard of Evelyn comes down from the lecture decks with a small light hop well I think it's time for us to start the class and just to start on the right foot, by the way, what class am I supposed to teach you? Even Emma is left speechless. No one expected her to say that. I actually had a professor a substitute who was like that. Uh, it was fun. Evelyn seems to reveal in everyone's surprise um, this is social studies class. A large smile appears on Evelyn's face. Social studies? Wonderful! That's my favorite class! Just like Emma, a new professor's gaze finally swaves to me. You, handsome, what's your name? What do answers always come to me regardless of the professor uh, i'm matt madam evelyn matt could you please tell me where you were in the course uh, okay so emma please save me i don't i didn't show up for half of us Okay, so it's been a while, but okay, so if I remember correctly, we don't have anything, and Emma knows everything, let's ask Emma for help. And I don't need, I'm not going to say, it's okay. I have absolutely no idea. Looking completely clueless, I give Emma a puppy-like dog look. She sighs at my utter dismay and glares back at me with an angry look. I would too. Like, do your work. What was she expecting that I would be up to date with the course? I give up on talking, uh, taking this class seriously as well a long time ago. That's not me. I love every class because I was a nerd. Regardless, Emma wipes, except for Matt, <laughs> wipes the answers in my, whispers the answers in my ear. I didn't understand a word she was saying and just repeated every syllable in a very rough voice. Uh, we were studying um, conspiracy, science, 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 social, sociology. Evelyn quickly claps her hands, looking visibly excited. That, <laughs> that ally of Sash, so, 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 world, fantastic! Oh, I need to drink seltzer. It's hot, even with AC on, and my throat is dry. Let me reread that. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. The Analyze of, so of Social World. Fantastic! Much better, see? Social relationships, right? Domestic power differences. Oh, definitions. I nod without understanding a word she just said. I really need to start signing for real, or else Emma is going to yell at me again. Her cold look confirms my fear. She looked quite upset. Sorry, thanks Emma for helping me. Perfect, let's start the class. I'm counting on all of you to behave. I'm also gonna save. Same old event, 
Yes. Oh, okay, so I guess I'll return. Okay. <laughs> Emma was right. Evelyn is quite brilliant. Despite her visible lack of preparation for this specific class, she has been talking about conspiracy social biology for over five minutes with a particular insight and sense of experience. Given my uh, in <laughs> insane lack of of knowledge in social science, I'm unable to say if what she says is actually relevant, but she definitely sounds very conf convincing. I'm actually pretty good at that, <laughs> but I tend to actually study before I do anything, but that's just me. <laughs> but she wasn't prepared, was she? <laughs> Wait, isn't that Dr. Fox effect? Seems like you actually learned a thing or two about uh, uh, sociology, sociology. I got it, yay, over the years. I take a look at the other students. Most of them behave exactly like usual. Oh, I forgot about the twins. At least the ones I know. Emma takes... Uh, perfectly organized notes in her little pink laptop. Zoe is having a quick uh, manicure, her little nail polish jar, unsteadily resting on her right knee. Oh, dangerous. Chloe tries by all means to catch the eye of the guy sitting in the first row down without much success so far. As for Jess, she starts staring at her laptop screen far too intensely to actually be play paying attention to class, probably playing Fortnite. And what about me? No point in lying. I haven't taken a single note. <laughs> that wouldn't be me. Nerd. <laughs> I was not <laughs> but this guy, woo. A nudge on the elbow pulls me out of my daydreaming. Matt, I swear. Emma looks at me warily, then finally smiley, smiles. Very funny, take, but take my notes. Class started five minutes ago. I think I almost gave her someone else's voice. That's okay. With a sigh, I place my hands on the keyboard and start writing a few uh, keywords from Emma Notes. Hey, do you guys have internet? Emma and I turn to the student sitting, but it's further to my left. I haven't tried yet, but why? I can't connect to the Wi-Fi. New, new whisper behind me, but this time, Wi-Fi is shut down. They must have changed the password last night. Only the school, um, in frame works. The universal in frame, great. Aside from, uh. Some in infracting articles about discovering the electricity and biography from the college dean. This thing is empty as a fridge on the weekend. Hey, log on the internet chat, everybody. Everybody's trolling. I mean, with the social network and mobile phones, this kind of thing is literally useless. But now, since we don't have the actual internet anymore, I find the address in a few clicks and manage to log on to the chat room. The messages are flooded with an open small tab listing the people logged in. There's almost 30 people. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop it here. Let me save. Let me put it here. And I hope everyone enjoyed. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe. Ring that bell and please leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great day, everyone.